All right, so if you want to post media on your page, Facebook's made it easier and easier as time, time has gone on. Uh, first things first, make sure you're posting on your page as your page. Um, that happens by default, but if you have the use Facebook as, make sure you're using it as your page. You can see now it's prompting me to use it as myself again, which means I'm currently using it as the page. Uh, you get some nice links at the top that make things pretty simple. If you want to upload a photo, just click that. You can upload a photo from your hard drive, take one with your webcam, which I don't ever hardly use. I'd rather take a little better picture and use it. Or you create an album with a bunch of photos, and they make it pretty simple when you go through there. You know, just grab the file, post it up there. Um, say, you know, obviously add some text about it, tell people what they're looking at, it, and share it. Pretty simple. Uh, the links are kind of cool the way they do links. Uh, we'll do like CNN.com. Attach a link. Uh, the one thing to be, a few things to be careful of here. One, of course, you want to say something about it, why you're sharing this link with them. But you also want to look at the thumbnail options here. You can choose what thumbnail you want to show with it. Make sure it's something relevant. You know, sometimes it'll, sometimes it'll grab, the first option will be an ad that's on the page or something completely unrelated to the story. So click through and find the one that works best. If I was showing the CNN homepage, I'd probably want something like that. Uh, if none of them work, there's no way to add more, but you can always just say, no, no thumbnail, just to, better to have no picture than to have a bad picture. Uh, and then videos work the same way pretty much as uh, the photos, where you can upload a video from your hard drive or record a video with the webcam. Um, so for something like this, I guess I could be talking and recording a video, doing that kind of thing. Um, but typically, again, I'll record, upload a video from the hard drive of you know, a video we created of some sort um, and share it that way. And then recently they've added questions. If you want to do a little poll, you can do that here and just kind of work through and ask the question, you know, what is your favorite color? And then add some options to it. You know, red, not Red Bull, red, blue, green, you know, whatever you want to do. There we go. And then do you want other people to be able to add their own options to the bottom? Something like this, maybe it makes sense. You know, they could add fuchsia or magenta or whatever random color they want. A lot of cases, you don't want people to add options. If you're asking, you know, which is the best team in the SEC, and you list all the teams, you know, all you're going to do is get people putting in weird stuff down there. But anyhow, um, use those. Media really tends to get a lot more interaction than just static posts. If you're sharing pictures and videos and really being more interactive, you'll probably get more people liking and commenting on your, on your uh, content and hopefully doing more for your page. So there you go. Hope that helps.